Hi, Michelle. Could I interrupt you once again? Everybody is talking about mugs these days, so I wondered what you would have to say. Mugs? Oh, that's long, long ago. I almost forgot about it. In the late 1950s, I translated a book by a German physician and philosopher named Victor von Weizsäcker. Hä? Yeah. Now, Ernst Marx was one of von Weizsäcker's students, and he published an interesting study on the history of physiology. <clears throat> I was referring to Karl Marx. Oh, that one. Uh, well, as I said, that's long, long ago. It is a system of thought that is rather unimportant today. In my book, The Order of Things, I'm quite explicit on this point, claiming that Marxism exists in 19th century thought, like a fish in the water. Okay, this might hold true for Marxism, but for Karl Marx it might be different. It's his 200th birthday, so people out there wonder what would be your take on him. I guess there are two things. First, if you read him carefully, you will find he's rather crucial for an interesting decentering of historiography. Focusing his historical analysis on relations of production, economic determinations and the class struggle, Marx offered convincing arguments against the twin figures of anthropology and humanism, or more precisely, against their conception of history as a reassuring form of the identical and the continuous. Okay. Second, Marx certainly was a political economist, but he was also something like a critical vitalist. If you read Capital and pay attention to the problem of life, you will discover very, very interesting things. For example, what he has to say about the employment of women and children in automated factories, his observations concerning the intensification of labor and its consequences, the abnormal development of muscles, the curvature of bones, and so on, or, more generally, his reflections on industrial pathology. All of this I consider as being rather close to my own analysis of biopolitics. In other words, Marx is not at all long, long ago? I fully agree. Eventually, this brings us back to von Weizsäcker, since the opening sentence of his book reads as follows. If you want to study life, you have to participate in it. I fully agree. Uh, uh, my conclusion uh, would be that the same holds true for studying relations of production economic determinations and the class struggle. I fully agree. Okay, then thank you, Michel. Thank you, Carl, and bye-bye. This puppet power is really mysterious. <laughs>